Hello everyone, in this highlighting shorts, I am going to tell you about follicular lymphoma which is a B cell type of lymphoma and their origin is basically from the germinal center, right? Who will be affected middle age 30 to 45 years of the individual and males are commonly affected. What will be the most common presentation? Painless, generalized lymph node enlargement, right? And on lymph node biopsy, we are going to see two kinds of cells, centrocytes and centroblast. Centrocytes are the cells which will be having cleaved nuclei you can see they are having cleaved nuclei and that is why they are also called as buttock cell. Centroblast will be having no cleavage in the nuclei, they are larger cell and they will be having prominent nucleoli as you can see here, right? So there is a prominent nucleoli in this cell, right? <coughs> On microscopic examination, you will see so many, you know, follicles or nodular aggregate of the tumor cell. So, right, this is the nodular or follicular aggregate of the tumor cells which we are seeing in the lymph node biopsy on a scanner view high power view you can observe there are two kind of cells so this is the larger cell which is the centroblast and these are the smaller cells where you are you can see the nuclear cleavage is present right so nuclear cleavage is present so these are the centrocytes so now you understood this is the centrocytes and the centroblast so both are present so centrocytes on on peripheral smear examination on peripheral smear examination because centrocytes are having nuclear growing so they will be looking like a buttock cell so these are the these are the buttock cells which we are seeing and you can see there is a cleavage in the all nuclei so you can see nuclear nuclear cleavage is present so that is why it is called as buttock cell right so this is the lymph node biopsy and this is the peripheral smear examination so now you can see these are the follicular lymphoma right and this is the bone marrow biopsy where you can see these are the bony trabeculi right these are the bony trabeculi which we are seeing and around the bony trabeculi you can see there are big big lymphoid aggregates so these are all the tumor cells so this will be described as a para trabecular lymphoid aggregate because they are around the trabeculi so these are called as para trabecular lymphoid aggregate right so how we can give a diagnosis of follicular lymphoma by three things bone marrow biopsy as I have just now shown you, paratrabecular lymphoid aggregate, immunophenotyping because they are B cell type of tumor, so CD10 and 19 will be positive. They are arising from the germinal center, that is why they will be BCL6 positive. And on cytogenetic examination, translocation 14, 18 will be seen. That will be leading to the overexpression of the cyclin D2 or BCL2. Enjoy learning.